crime-stopping blitz in the capital city. Law enforcement officers are cracking down on suspected criminals. 16 WABD's Jennifer Ortega rode along with police tonight. Stay inside your vehicle for a second. Stay inside your vehicle. I'll be in just a second. Officers pulled over this driver just minutes after making an illegal right turn. Go ahead. Of course, I'm going to be at Robinson Road at Highway 80. Hines County deputies and Jackson cops working together to sweep out crime in the city. What our plans are is to not let the criminal element dictate what's going to happen in this community. This comes in the wake of last week's crime spree manhunt through the Jackson area. Our carjacking numbers go down since we made those arrests. But we're not going to sit down and say the problem is solved simply because we made those arrests. Our cameras were rolling as JPD's DUI officer Lloyd Crosby made stops throughout the night. The more visibility we are out here, the more that they're going to just go the other way and, and, and basically just do their thing uh, without, our, without us being present. Crosby says this driver wasn't paying enough attention. It's a sign that clearly is posted up there at the top of Dixon Road. It's a turn signal sign. It, it, it advises no turn on red, basically. And I'm just issuing a citation for disregard for traffic device. And he pulls over one more person for the same offense. Hey. Crosby says doing these routine stops is what helps with deterring bigger crimes. Everybody make mistakes sometimes, maybe running a red light or something like that. But weaving and waving all over the lines, that's a perfect indicator right there. Authorities say they're concentrating in the Jackson area for now and will spread out further into Hines County. In Jackson, Jennifer Ortega, 16. I'm out with the red Nissan Maxima. WAP.